Title IX has made a tremendous impact, um, not just on sports, but I think as our culture as a whole. But um, the idea that um, I, I call it uh, steak and hot dogs. You know, I grew up in a family of, um, I have a brother and three sisters, and when we sat down at the dinner table, it wasn't steak for the boys and hot dogs for the girls. And, you know, it was even worse than that. You know, we didn't even get the ketchup or the bun, you know. But, um, you know, now I think it, you know, is saying, let's, let's be fair. You know, let's be fair to our, our daughters and let's be fair to our sons. And I, I have to say that fathers are huge in this battle. Um, it's not just, it's not just uh, the schools, it's not just mothers or daughters, but it's fathers saying, my daughter's not going to ride on that rickety bus, you know, my daughter's not going to practice um, at 6 o'clock in the morning when the boys have the, you know, 2 to 7 slot in the gym. Um, and it's uh, parents, but uh, mothers and fathers saying, let's be fair to our daughters. Let's turn the clock to 2025. What do you foresee for women's sports? You know, I hope that I hope that we I hope we blaze our own path uh, or our own trail, and that we're not necessarily always just uh, following the men and what they're doing, because some of the things are not um, they're not good for uh, sports. You know, the fighting is not good. Drugs in sports. Uh, the uh, you know all the, the different things that are are bad. We we need to learn from some of the mistakes and the, the things that have happened for men's sports. Um, and just all the, um, you know, you know, I look at professional sports, and um, for our women to have an opportunity to play professional sports, I think it's a great opportunity. And I, I do believe that our top athletes are role models. You know, some people don't, but they are. Um, they're so visible, and that that hopefully our people, uh, women and men in sports, um, can be um, great role models for our young people who need them. Um, so. In that direction, uh, if we, I hope we can go in that direction in a positive direction. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.